Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are continuing in our acid base chapter, and today we're going to learn about pH and pOH calculations. So this is the tutorial that goes with the worksheets. So for starters, um, the first worksheet that we look at has a uh, table that looks something like this. And so each of the questions gives you one of the pieces of information. And remember that pH plus pOH has to equal 14. So if you know the one that you can get to the other and that the hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH, the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH. If the pH is seven, it's neutral. If it's greater than seven, it's basic. If it's less than seven, it's acidic. And again, if you're given the concentration, you calculate pH as minus the log of the concentration of the hydronium ion, and the pOH is minus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So given a pH of seven, we know that the hydronium ion is one times 10 to the minus pH, so one times 10 to the minus seven. Since we know the pH, then we know that the pOH is 14 minus 7, which is 7. And then the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH. In this case, that's 10 to the minus 7. Since the pH is 7, this is neutral. Question 2 gives us a hydroxide ion concentration of 10 to the minus 4. So that means that the pOH is minus the log of 10 to the minus 4, which is 4. If we know the pOH is 4, then the pH is 10. If the pH is 10, hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH, so 10 to the minus 10. pH is what we look at for acid base neutral. pH is 10, therefore it's greater than 7, it's basic. Question three, pH equals six. Hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus six, 10 to the minus pH. If we know the pH is six, that means the pOH is 14 minus six, which is eight. That means hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus eight, 10 to the minus pOH. If pH is six, it's less than seven, it's acidic. Question four. Hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus 5. That means the pOH is minus the log base 10 of that, which is 5. If pOH is 5, pH is 14 minus 5, which is 9. And that means the hydronium ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the minus 9, 1 times 10 to the minus pH. If pH is greater than 7, this is basic. Number 5. pOH is 11. That means hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH, 10 to the minus 11. That means pH is 14 minus 11, which is 4. So hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus 4. Hydroxide is 10 to the minus 11. pH is 4, which is less than 7, acidic. Number 12 pH is 12. That means that the hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH or 10 to the minus 12. That means that the pOH is 14 minus 12, which is 2. Hydroxide ion concentration 10 to the minus 2, 10 to the minus pOH. pH is 12. That's greater than 7. Basic solution. So now let's look at the next type of worksheet. So the second type of worksheet, you're given the concentration in molarity of a solution. And you're asked to calculate the concentration molarity of hydronium ion, calculate the pH, calculate the pOH, and calculate the hydroxide ion concentration. So it's good to remember that when you're talking about a 0 0.030 molar HBr solution, that means that there's 0 0.030 moles of HBr for every one liter of solution. So um, 
And I'm sorry, I left off a zero there. I was being lazy. We'll worry about that at the end. So then if we remember that there is one mole of hydronium ions for every, for every one mole of uh, hydrogen bromide, bromide, HBr, so now we're canceling out uh, what molarity means there and getting rid of moles. So now that we know that for every 0 0.030 molar solution, if we have a liter of it, we have 0 0.030 moles of H3O+. plus. So that's my concentration of hydronium ion. Now from that, I can calculate my pH. So my pH is minus the log base 10 of hydronium ion concentration, which is minus the log base 10 of 0 0.030, which comes out to 1.52287. Going up here, three sig figs, rounding to three sig figs, our pH is 1.52. Now, we need to get the pOH. So pH plus pOH equals 14. pOH is 14 minus our 1.52 which comes out to 12.5 when you round it. So now, hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH, which is equal to 10 to the minus 12.5, which is equal to 3.16 times 10 to the 13 molar. So in this particular calculation, we were given an acidic solution. We use the definition of molarity to calculate the concentration of the hydronium ion. That gets us to pH. If you've got pH, you get to pOH. And from pOH, you can get to concentration of hydroxide ion. If you hear it snoring, I saw, I'm sorry, my dog is sleeping under my desk. Now let's look at a second calculation. And in this one, instead of giving an acid solution, you're given a basic solution. So you're going to have to start with concentration of hydroxide and then get to pOH from that, and then from pOH to pH, and then from pH to hydronium ion concentration. So given 0 0.150 molar potassium hydroxide, remembering that means that there's 0 0.150 mole potassium hydroxide in a liter of solution times one mole of hydroxides for every one mole of potassium hydroxide, so moles cancels out, and that gives us a concentration of 0 0.150 mole hydroxide ion, and that's our hydroxide ion concentration. Now, pOH is defined as minus the log base 10 of hydroxide ion concentration, so plugging in the number 0 0.150 was our molarity, we get a pOH of 0.824, three sig figs, three sig figs. And now we can use the pOH to calculate pH. Since pH plus pOH equals 14, our pH is 14 minus the pOH, which is 0.824. That comes out to 13.176, rounding to three sig figs to 13.2. Now we know the pH, we can calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So hydronium ion concentration is defined as 10 to the minus pH, plugging in 10 to the minus 13.2. We uh, do that on our calculator and we get 6.31 times 10 to the minus 14 molar. So again, from the concentration of the basic solution, we can calculate concentration of hydroxide ion. That gets us to pOH. From pOH, we can get to pH. From pH, we get to hydronium ion concentration. So this is Ms. Augustine signing off.